Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about CSS transforms. CSS transforms transform a CSS box. That transformation uh, could be in the form of moving those boxes, rotating them, scaling them up, scaling them down, and a lot more stuff. So uh, in the HTML we just have a div with a class of block the way that you can create that is i've just provided you with the uh trick or with the shortcut as well so if you just say div.block is going to create a div with a class of block inside the css um, i'm going to grab that div with a class of block i'm going to provide it some styling so we can see that so i'm going to say margin 20 pixels uh, let's provide it some height uh, so it's going to be a 200 pixel by 200 pixel block. And uh, let's provide some padding. Uh, that is going to be 10 pixels as well as some background color, which is teal. So here is our block. The reason that I've provided the text is just to show you whenever we rotate it, right? So what are actually transforms? I'm going to start from I'm going to start talking about uh, transforms below this line. So here are our transform. So the property name is going to be transform and then trans oops transform then you have all these different functions that you can use. So you have the uh, I'm not going to talk about perspective that is a an expert level property you have this rotate which you are going to talk about you have um, scale we are going to talk about translate x and y as well as translate as well so when we say translate it means that move this box in a trans uh, translational manner it means that move it from one side of the screen to the other side so when it says translate x move it along the x-axis x-axis is the horizontal axis y-axis is the vertical axis and the like the third dimension is, is the uh, z-axis but our screen is two-dimensional so the z-axis will refer to the distance from your eyes to the screen that is that if you just grab a string like a string of um, like fabric string not a string of python fabric and you just stretch it like or a piece of rubber if you stretch it from your eyes to the screen that is the z-axis in terms of web development so a little bit more difficult perspective handles the third axis the z-axis this imaginary one that you have to imagine to be able to visualize it that's why it's difficult a little bit to uh, talk about it. so if I say 150 pixels then it means that it is going to be moved by 150 pixels in the positive direction of X so you might be familiar with that like coordinates right like X and Y so in coordinates we have on the right side X is positive on the left side X is negative on the top we have y is positive and the bottom y is negative right that is the simple coordinates that we have in mathematics but in web development uh, the y axis is going to be reversed so when you say negative uh, as you go up as you go towards the top it's going to be negative numbers and as you're going towards the bottom, it's going to be positive numbers for y-axis. X-axis is the same. So if I say 150 pixels, it's going to move to the right. There you go, by 150 pixels. I'm going to say um, minus 150 pixels. So I'm going to keep it there. So it is 150 pixels there. If you say minus 150 pixels, it's basically going to go minus 150 pixels to that way. Um, this is the negative. I'm just going to remove that, comment that one out. Let's talk about the positive axis of Y. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to say Y. So when it is positive, it is going to come down. See, it just came down. I'm just going to comment this one out. So the, this is the original location. It's going to come down by 150 pixels. Then we go to the original. Then I'm going to say negative. 
which is going to go 150 pixels to the top. There you go. That's why I've provided the text so you can really visualize it. Then we have transform rotate, which is going to rotate any element. Uh, first, we have rotate. Um, let's provide 45. The unit is DEG. So you can see we have different units in CSS. This is 45 degree along its own axis. Then uh, you can provide other units as well. So for example, we have turn in CSS as well, which is a relatively, I think, new and cool unit. So one turn is 360 degrees. There we go. So if I say one turn, it means that it has turned by 360 degrees. How do we know that? So let's provide it to 0 0.125, which I believe is 45 degrees. Um, um, this is not 45 degrees. So let me grab the calculator. I'm going to say 1. So how can I find this out? So I'm going to say... Uh, 1 multiplied by 0. Oh, it's 0. 0.0. No, no, no. It's 0. 0.125, not 0. Now, there we go. It's 45 degrees. So I was sure kind of about it. So if you provided 0. 0.25, it's 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees rotated. This is the text you can see. Sometimes you want to do this. Uh, if you provided uh, 0. 0.75, um, this is, I'm going to provide a 0 0.5, which is going to be 180 degrees, then 7, 5, 270 degrees, and then one turn is where it is 360. So I'm going to remove that from there. You can do all of that with degrees as well, like 45, 90, 100, 101, whatever degree it is that you like. And the final transform set of properties that I'm going to talk about are going to be scale. Scale are responsible for either enlarging an element or uh, shrinking an element. So I'm going to say transform scale. So if you just say scale, it's going to be in X and Y axis. And I just remembered something that um, I'm just going to comment this one out. If you want to provide the X value for translate and the Y value for translate, there is actually a shorthand property. And that is uh, transform, not origin. Origin is even more complicated. Translate, and that is just transform translate. So within transform translate, you can provide the value for translate X and Y at the same time. So let's say you want to translate it 400 pixels in the X direction and just provide a comma make sure you provide a comma and 250 uh, uh, pixels in the y direction this is where it is going to come and for scale we have the same thing so we have scale x scale y first off comment that one out so if you say just scale it's going to scale it in x and y directions but i'm going to do that later so scale x is going to scale it in the x direction it's like Two people are pulling on each side of this box and they're trying to like, like, uh, sh like stretch it. Like think of like, think of like a, a piece of rubber that you grab in your hand and you like un uh, grab, grab it by the two sides and you try to stretch it out. That's X. So 1.2. There we go. Like stretching. And if you provide it to two, it's like too much, like a lot of stretch. There we go. Oh, it's 12. So by default, the scale X is one. So if you provide it to one, nothing is going to change. That is what the browser applies. You're just going to manipulate it to two. It's going to be stretched twice. You can see even the font is being stretched. So the entire box is being stretched. So I'm going to set it to 1.2. Then we have scale Y. It's going to like pulling on the top of it, on the head and bottom. Then you have, uh, comment these ones out, then you have scale itself. So the first value is going to be, uh, whenever you provide one value, whenever you provide a value, that is going to be for both X and Y. So if you do 2, um, 1.2, it's going to be for X and for Y. 
with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one